Hi, is the cat getting tougher? I mean, let's look at the stats that has been there recently. If you look at the past three years, in the CAT 20, it required 101 marks to get a 99 percentage. CAT 21, it was 97, and CAT 22, it was 84 marks. So if you look at the marks required to get a percentile has been reducing last year. If you look at even 90 percentile, 63, 60, and certainly went down to 48. If you compare CAT 20 and CAT 22, the marks required to get an 80 percentile in CAT 20 is same as the marks required to get a 90 percentile in CAT 22. Technically, this looks like the paper is getting more difficult, but practically no, not necessarily. Because what happens is over the past history, if you look at CAT, CAT difficulty has been varying. I mean, it becomes tougher, tougher, and then it becomes easier. So my sessions go with the open mind because if you go with the mindset saying that the CAT is going to be tough. You'll be over cautious, in which case, if the paper is easy, then you will have a problem. I mean, then you may not be able to maximize your marks because you are trying to confirm your answers as such. So go with the open mind. We don't know how the examination is going to be in the next aspect. Okay. Because difficult level keeps changing every year. Understand that. You can't predict difficult level based on past CAT papers. And it has been varying over the years. And we cannot definitely say that the CAT next year is going to be more tough or more easy. The next CAT could be easier or tougher. My suggestion is, as I said, go with the open mind. If you find the paper tough when you solve it, the paper will be tough. If you pay, find the paper easy, try to maximize your score. Right? But looking at the past marks, you may just get a you know benchmark in terms of what the range of marks that can be scored. But finding the exact marks, my suggestion is don't depend on it. Because if you look at it, I mean, a lot of people who went to CAT 22, for example, wanted to score 99 percentile, expected a score to be around 97. No one expected the marks to go down to 84. Right? Trust it drop. So people who were not able to reach that 97 mark got stressed in the exam and underperformed in the exam. But people who had gone on the open mind saying that, okay, let me solve as much as possible and come out, were able to reach their mark. So psychology plays a very important role in the CAT examination. right? So my suggestion, go with the open mind. That will help you more in the examination than anything else. Thank you.